Lil Baby has become one of the most sought after rappers in hip hop ever since he dropped his debut album, Harder Than Ever, back in May of 2018. The 25 year old rapper from Atlanta, Georgia has had multiple chart topping hits such as Yes Indeed featuring Drake and Drip Too Hard featuring Gunna, which have made him not only a multi million dollar recording artist, but a certified multi platinum artist as well. In fact, Little Baby has gone platinum over 10 times since the start of his career, which is quite impressive to say the least. But what makes Little Baby's story even more astonishing is the fact that just a few years ago, he was sitting alone in a 6x8 concrete cell in a Georgia State Penitentiary at just 18 years old. Curious on how Little Baby got himself into this situation? Well, then we got you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of Little Baby. Lil Baby's first arrest took place when he was just 12 years old. While out with some friends, Lil Baby got this genius idea to go break in and rob a house that was in his Atlanta neighborhood. As the crew approached the house, police pulled up out of nowhere and detained all of them almost immediately. After a few minutes of questioning, the police came to the conclusion that Lil Baby and friends were planning on breaking into the home and arrested them for burglary. Since Lil Baby was only 12 years old at the time, he obviously couldn't be booked into a county jail, so they brought him to a local juvenile detention center where he stayed locked up for only 10 days. When he got out, Lil Baby continued to stay involved with the streets, with the only difference being that he was just less secretive about it. Before, nobody other than his friends really knew what he was up to, but after his arrest, everyone, including his mother, knew about his little after-school activities. Despite being knee deep in the streets, Little Baby continued to attend school and claimed to be extremely smart academically. He consistently passed all of his classes and was on the path to get his high school diploma, but eventually got kicked out of high school due to the fact that he kept getting suspended throughout his entire academic career. After getting kicked out, Little Baby was planning on going to an alternative school, but decided to just drop out after realizing he was too old for the alternative school. He was now in the streets full time. With all the new free time on his hands, Lil Baby ended up getting arrested multiple times during the ages of 16 and 17. All the details of these arrests seem to be sealed due to the fact that Lil Baby was still a minor at the time, but he mentioned in a few interviews early on in his career that the arrests were basically all for the same two things, drugs and guns. Every time he was arrested, Lil Baby seemed to get off with almost little to no consequences, but this obviously didn't last forever as his next arrest left the judge fed up and ended up sentencing Little Baby to probation. While on probation, Little Baby stayed out of trouble for a short period of time, but at the age of 18, he slipped up once again and was sent back to jail after violating his probation. This probation violation had Little Baby facing some serious time in prison, which required him to lawyer up as soon as possible. His first lawyer was able to cut a deal to where he just had to serve two years in prison. But Little Baby wouldn't take this for an answer and eventually fired him to hire a new lawyer who was able to land him an even better deal where he was told that he could attend a six month program instead of doing time in prison. Little Baby accepted this deal and went to the program a few days later. After arriving to this program, Little Baby soon found out that this program was actually intended to be a year long ordeal instead of the six months that he had been told. This upset Little Baby and made him feel like he had been tricked but he continued to give the program another chance. Then, just a few days later, he got into a scuffle with another program attendee, which led to him being kicked out of the program and sentenced to two years in prison. At the prison, Little Baby didn't really have any difficulties as you may expect an 18 year old to have, because he had cousins who were facing life sentences in the same penitentiary as he was in. In addition to having some family by his side, it also probably helped that his two year sentence was one of the shortest ones out of all the inmates which most likely made him feel thankful that he was even going to get out, while other inmates may never see the light of day again. On July 1st, 2016, Lil Baby was released from prison and returned to his mother's home in Atlanta. When he got back, Lil Baby realized that a lot of his street friends such as Marlo and Young Thug have begun rapping and were actually developing quite the buzz in the industry. While this was cool and all, Lil Baby had no desire to rap, and planned on going back to hustling in the streets like he'd been doing his whole life. When word of his plans got around town, 
His old friends, such as P and Coach K from Quality Control, and even Young Thug, encouraged Little Baby to start rapping instead of going back to his old ways. Little Baby soon began entertaining this idea, but never actually got started, until Young Thug paid for Baby's first ever studio session. This one studio session with Young Thug changed Little Baby's life forever. Little Baby soon began to be in the studio non-stop, recording song after song, until he finally dropped his first ever project titled Perfect Timing, which had features from Lil Yachty, Ghana, and of course, Young Thug. This project brought a lot of buzz to Lil Baby, not only because of the good music, but rather due to the fact that everyone discovered that this was Quality Control's newest artist. Lil Baby took advantage of all this new attention and soon dropped his debut album, Harder Than Ever. Two of the tracks featured on the album, My Dog and Freestyle, went viral online and skyrocketed Lil Baby to mainstream success. This not only allowed him to make incredible hits with his friends over at Quality Control, but also gave him the ability to link up with other top tier artists, such as Drake. In fact, Drake and Lil Baby's song titled Yes Indeed is currently three times platinum and peaked at number six on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. It's also pretty cool that Gunna, who was featured on Lil Baby's first project, started to gain mainstream success as well at around the same time as Lil Baby. The two eventually went on to release an album together called Drip Harder, where the lead single, Drip Too Hard, peaked at number four on the Billboard charts and even went platinum five times. Then, on February 7th, 2019, at around 6 p.m., Lil Baby was cruising around in his orange Corvette when a Georgia State Trooper saw the rapper fail to signal when changing lanes. Lil Baby then proceeded to speed up and pass other vehicles in a reckless manner while a lot of pedestrians were walking about on foot. Then, as soon as the State Trooper got behind Lil Baby's Corvette to pull him over, Baby realized what was going on and began to accelerate and change lanes in hopes to avoid being pulled over. That ended up not working out so well because the state trooper eventually pulled little baby over and arrested him for failing to signal while changing lanes, reckless driving, and attempting to flee or elude police. Baby was then put in the back of the police cruiser and then eventually booked into the Fulton County Jail. Little Baby was released later that night after posting bail for an unknown amount of money. No updates have been released in the media about this arrest, but I have a pretty good feeling that Little Baby will most likely just have to pay a fine of some sort and maybe attend some type of traffic school. Overall, I don't really worry about Little Baby ever falling back into his old ways. He claims that he never wants to go back to prison and really showed everyone that not only is he a talented artist, but that he also has an extremely good work ethic as well. He seems to have realized how fortunate he was to be surrounded by already established rappers and label executives and put everything he had into the music until he became one of the biggest names in hip hop. I also wanna note that I don't really consider his last arrest to be anything major whatsoever or at least nothing major compared to what Little Baby came from, since it's basically just a traffic violation. Regardless, I wish for nothing but the best for Little Baby, and hope he continues to achieve massive success in the industry. Well, there you have it. The entire criminal history of Little Baby. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Feel free to hit the notification bell as well to be notified whenever we upload. I'm gonna try to post a video three times a week, so comment down below if you have any suggestions on who we should do a criminal history video on next. That's all I have for today, I'm out.